Hey, y'all request songs in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Dimes. Give me a five real quick. It's off. But. Are we good? Somebody get by. I got Wayne. I got a slash. What's it? Good night, him. You too little. Play a game, boy. Take that first one, though, Mark. He's over. It's over. We good, let's go, y'all. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. Drop down, Smith. You got it, you got it. I got to get more aggressive on this kid. We good. Music not working? Hold on.
Alright. So this game here was game one with Trillin Breakout. This led to that boy Shots eventually leaving the team. See, Shots, he decided that he wanted a Another playmaker, he suggested it to Dons, and Dons being the dictator that, let me stop, he's not the dictator, but Dons, being that it's Dons' team, you know, Dons want to run an offense based around him, an offense that has already proven to work, you know, him being ball dominant, he, he doesn't really want to need a, feel he needs another ball handler. Me, personally, I recommend dual ball handlers in pro -Am. I love that shit. It takes so much pressure off of the main ball handler, and... You guys get to switch turns, especially against teams that only have one lockdown. But uh, Don really wasn't with it. And this is a little gossipy. I don't really like getting into gossip. But according to Shots, uh, he went on Twitter. According to Shots, he, Don told, Don just kicked him. He just said no one kicked him or he didn't say no and kicked him. Like, he suggested... Uh, maybe another ball handler, maybe a pure playmaker. You know the six ten pure maker that every time team runs. And Dom said, mm, "I'm gonna kick you." You know, and that's how Dom's gonna run his team. It's his team. He has the right to. You know, um, when you signed up for this, you knew what was gonna happen. You know, you knew the dynamics. You knew it was made to. The team was made to make him look good. Running up all them wins against bums in the beginning of the year before comp, uh, running to P4, dominating P4. It was it was just made. It's always made to make him look good, you know, with his supporting cast. But just because you're on his team and supporting cast, it automatically makes you. It gives you exposure also. You know, you know that's how it works. That, that, that's how what you see in the rap game and whatever nonsense. The guys hang around guys and they think it it helps them get clout with whatever, whatever, you know, type of weird shit. But um, breakout. They just lost one player, replaced them with another. So the backstory between breakout and trail now, you know, you guys probably know for sure. You know, not no gossip. Uh, they won 50k together. Kenny Dom's uh, and Tommy, they won 50k together. You know, they broke up to the. Should I say ego? They broke up. Let's just leave it as they broke up. And Kenny and du Kenny and Cook, they they've been wanting to play Dom. They've been trying to wager him. They've been trying. You know, Dom just keeping it. Dom, Dom don't gotta respond. It's you know he. He deserves that. He don't got to respond. Whether you want to say Dom's is whatever type of words or adjectives you want to use to describe him, you know, feminine adjectives and stuff like that, you can, you, you can do that. But, you know, the man, he, he earned his right. He, he ain't want to respond to them. He ain't want to wager them. He ain't want to set it up. He wanted to quote, unquote, open quote, end quote, Hollywood. Matter of fact, open quote, Hollywood, end quote. He wanted to act like that. And he did. But they caught his ass in traffic, you know, and he had to play game one. And I guess after playing game one, you know, he didn't play game two right away. Game two came the next day. But after playing game one and taking that L, you might want to redeem yourself. So, you know, you hop back on. And um, I don't know, man. Everyone's telling Dom to go back to, to go back to that P4 where it's sweet at. Listen, listen, man, I play on the P4. And I'm going to let y'all know. I'll, I'll probably have to do a, a proper breakdown on P4, Xbox. It's just a big, never-ending debate. But right now, the Xbox competition is above the P4 competition. It's only a few teams on PS4 right now that's really getting to it every night. Shout out to new teams coming up. Um, new lane, stuff like that. The new teams. Shout out to new teams. Not new, but they're, they're, they're making a name for themselves. Because P4, we really just had... Uh, HG. We really just had HG. They was doing their thing. You know, Colt showing that he was a great leader. And, you know, Dom, um, I don't know, I don't know what Dom did to that team, man. Shit. Shit kind of hurt me. Yeah, that, that shit kind of hurt me, like. I, how y'all the best team and y'all letting a little, well, it's not even that game. So, anyways. HG's 
they're not here right now. Everyone's in draft mode. Back to the game. Uh, as you see on this game, I'm going to do a little more commentary for game two. You know, see my boy Cook bringing the ball up the court. You know, he's spamming that elite three. But one thing I want y'all to look at is the spacing. Notice the spacing on trail. Can he work in the corner? Look, right here, they're going to go in the pick and roll. They got a little smushy just now, but passes off to 6'10 mark. 6'10 mark's a good player. We used to watch him a lot on Team Canada Elite. You know, uh, Trill, they also had a revamp, which I'm going to address. Um, at game two, I'm going to address Trill revamp. But uh, enjoy the rest of the game, man. You know, the difference between top teams and little teams, I don't know the reason you guys watch this, cha this channel, but the difference is spacing. And uh, you got to look for the little things.
cinematic. I, I really got to get my voice a little bit more cinematic. So we about to start game two as I started our last game. Telling you guys about the trail situation. So trail, they're, they're ranked around 16 right now. They took a little fall off. They were the best team on Xbox probably like two, one patch or two patch ago. They took a little fall off. Two members left. You know, they had a little disagreement about uh, Snake and who's not a Snake. And at the end of the day, teams break up all the time in 2K. Players leave, players go. But, but what needs to mean? Ah, what needs to stay intact is your core. Don't be discouraged because a few players left your team. Kenny and Cook, they've been playing together forever. Dom came and left. The, the two new players that came and left, I know their name. I just don't want to because then people are going to be like, they're a snake or whatever. But the two players that left, at the end of the day, the core going to stick together. But this is game two, y'all. Dom came back for his revenge. You see him snatching back like crazy. I don't know shit. Dom said, you know what? I'm not going out that way. You know? And um, just so happened, you know, I don't want to ruin that. I don't really want to ruin it. But breakout ever since they came back from Cleveland, they ain't been breakout. They told Dom to go back to the people. I'm not sure if he listened or not yet. You know, um. See, trail back into the full court press. Easy, easy. That's an easy lane for Dom's right there. It's an easy lane, but the help defense is just help defense mixed with the bad animation. But that really is an easy lane. Uh, why y'all at it, man? Go uh, check out the boy uh, Kenny stream and Cook. Maybe streaming for uh, Trail. Make sure y'all check that out. Wide open shot by Sweeties. I would assume. Good shot. Having a miss. So we got the break starter. My boy Cook on that six ten is crazy. Cook on that six ten, really crazy, man. In the comments, if you still uh listen, to this, just let me know why you watch this channel. I know, I know uh, a lot of people broke it down for me, but if you haven't broke it down before, just let me know why you enjoy this channel, man. Channel's only gonna get bigger. See my boy at the free throw line, man. The reason I don't uh, do the commentating thing as far as play-by-play -play is, one, I'm not trying to be a, a commentator, a color commentator. It's very difficult to do, but it's also not my passion. You know, I just really like this 2K comp scene. Really enjoy watching the games. Really enjoy the dynamic. Damn, man, that boy fall. The reason he didn't shoot there is because the recovery on 2K is trash off an of anchor breaker, man. Oh, my God. You see that move from Kenny in the corner? Come on, man. That's green. 2K ain't give him a green, but that's green. Like, just over the move. See, that's what I'm wondering in the combine. Like, is the combine going to see? I know it's a good shot, but is the combine really going to be able to say that? I grease somebody like that? Come on, man. Like, that shit was crazy. You know, the score is currently 8 4. That's a good inbound. See, see, I don't know if y'all even realize. Pro Am is a game of chess. They're trying to keep the ball out of Dom's hands off the inbound. Look how late Dom got the ball in the possession. Only thing he could do is pass it back to Day Fry. I'm, I'm going to assume that's Day Fry. It's either Day Fry or Sleety. Both both of them, they be looking the same sometimes. Shit, I think Day Fry only played on this team one time. I'm sorry, Day Fry. I, I think that was Sleety. Listen, anyways. Damn. Next. That boy Cook put that behind the back. <laughs> Shit. Behind the back, snatch back, get underneath the paint mark. It was a terrible possession. Mark had the uh, layup when he was underneath the rim. He just decided not to take it. Because that's a cheese layup when you're right underneath. Panic pass. He panic passed out of that. See, what I was telling you on the first video of our top team, most top teams, that's a full reset. It's no need to panic pass. But I guess he's a pure sharp, so he thought he had a wide open because, you know, that's that's green. But uh, you see Dom here in the five-out game clamped up. You know, it's really hard when a player is much bigger than you. You know, this right here is just fast break, bring it back out. Now, Kenny's white in these. Listen, normally Kenny going to hit this shit. It's just 2K letting him get that slightly late white. 
But I'm telling you, man, right now, Trill got breakout on clamp. So that dude right there, I think he's a pure, pure shark. I ain't really paid attention to his offense that much. 24K drop off. Oh, that's my guy. That's my dude. Look at him. See? See how Mark went up that time, but he didn't go up the first time. Guess he knew he was going to miss. Great defense from Trill. I'm not sure the last time breakout even scored. Like, seriously, like, uh, Trill isn't scoring, but Trill is scoring off. Ah, I said that wrong. Okay. Trill isn't scoring, but Trill is missing easy shots. So the person I was shooting that three was N2, N24. Not Sleety. Oh, wow. He looked like Sleety. The charge, coach. That's the charge, coach. Why 2 4 party? You know, um, oh, shout out Rich Lano for the host on this game. You know, Rich Lano was uh, one of the point guards on um, point on PS4 that I'll be scouting and looking at. He's, uh, I, 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 I would never drop a list. I would never do that. It undermines. What's the location I should have said? Good time out from Don's right there, realizing the, the dynamic of this game and how it's going to look when he did that 2-0. Well, if he gets that too old, you know. Got Day Fry to pass out. You know, Day Fry played for Make It Happen. Make It Happen, he played for. He has really good communication skills. I don't know if you guys have ever seen him on Make It Happen playing. He has very good communication skills. I remember early in the year, Make It Happen was the uh, top team. Super top team. I don't know what happened. At the moment... They drizzled had left the team. I don't know what happened. Like something happened. You know when people leave the team, they always return though. But the moment he left the team, oh good shit, coach. Damn. Shoot that mark. Come on, man. Come on. Get right, Mark. Get right. That's a great shot, man. A lot of people don't see that many. Four seconds on the clock. Don's just gonna go straight through, you know. And the reason why Dodge is missing this, one for three after the first two turnovers, the reason why he's missing this is because they basically got him out of his game. Once you're cold, you start getting blocked when he plays on 2K, it's over. It's over. You need, like, three dunks to get you back right. Like, once you're cold, it's over, especially on that shot maker. By the way, if you guys don't know, I'm not the only person that uh, operates 2K time games. <laughs> It's a whole bunch of us. I just do most of the YouTube stuff or whatever. But uh, make sure you check us out. Follow us on Twitter. We're getting that up there. He's dedicated to continue going on. I see you, Kenny. Corner boy. Kenny, Ken Kenny working from that corner like crazy, man. You see, people be talking about the five out and how five out basketball is bad. But the five out basketball is only bad when it's only one person involved. If you allow people to work from the corners, how is that not basketball? I get what you're saying. It's all isolation basketball or whatever. I'm just tired of the debate, though. At the end of the day, it can be stopped. Seriously, it really can be stopped. They running five-hour raps. You see that shit, man? Come on. That's a slip. He should have slipped right through there. He had the wide-open paint. See, that's what I like to do. If I run it, I'm going to tell Oh, oh my. Goodness. I like to tell people, I should have gave y'all a freeze cam or something, but I'm trash at the Adobe editing. I like to tell my teammates when exactly to flip in and cut. That way we're all on the same page and we don't get a lot of fumbles and stuff. That's, come on, bro. Come on, bro. That shot was on. One more pass. Thank you. Yeah, I agree, guys. Now, that I, that I, that I, that I, that I beat. Right now, I'm just Bill on the shooting bill, but I don't know. That I is. That I put it at work. So when you go and you play with Dimes, your numbers just, you know, again, in comp games, your numbers just not. It's really ever a comp game you're going to win with breakout where you're the man and Dimes wasn't. Does that make any type of sense? It's just the offense they run. It's no knock to him. I would love to run an offense like that, truthfully. <laughs> hey, but that's just me being selfish like this. I, I would love to see. Let me score every time. Let me press that square button. See, Tomley on that 6'10", that's a, that's a risky shot. It's not a risky shot. He knows what he's doing. It says wide open. When I say it's a risky shot, it's like it's certain plays in 2K where it's, you're gambling, basically. 
and you got to know when to do it. And that also will separate. Who the hell is missing these wide open corner threes like this? That's two in a row, boy. That better not be day for us. A lot of pocket. Now I see why Dom don't pass the ball. See that shit again. Where he at? Sign him missing open corner threes. One of them is cool. You can't just be missing two in a row. Hit him with that behind the back, Dom. Oh, man. I'm off for this. Y'all about to watch the rest of this video on silence. What are they doing? I'm acting like I ain't seen this game five times. But, uh, you see Kenny working downs in that one on one. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. You know, um, trill out to the early lead by halftime. They're up. My boy Kenny, I, I'm sorry for that extra, uh, sound. Drinking my water and shit. You got me talking a little too loud with the commentary. And it's not natural commentary. It's really be winging and going off the top. You know, the inbound to Day Fry. Again, they're keeping the ball out of Dom's hand. Look at this. Look, look how long it's going to take for Dom to get the ball in his hand. He said, fuck that shit. He said, Dom, no. Don't come to the ball. That's what he said. He said, that ain't working. He said, that's not working. Part of my language, by the way. Definitely see that. Got Kenny in the ISO set now. See how Kenny and Cook interchanging. Right. There we go. Mm-hmm. See? Okay. All right. That play just now was a great play in real life. On 2K, however, it's a gamble play. You're gambling. The player could fumble the ball. The player could... The tip could happen like that. That's why people run the five out this year. Because the anim oh my god, Don's just getting clamped up. The animation is just disgusting this year. What you think is super easy, it just don't be easy. Look at the shot Cook just missed compared to the shot that he took off with the dribble on the back. I know his three pointer is like a 77, 75. He on a pure point like a six ten. I forgot the exact. But still, that's a wide open shot. You know, I'm pretty sure it's a green release, not green, but uh, white. So I'm pretty sure it could have turned green, had a possibility. That's run pick and roll right there. And you know, 2K, you see, that's the panic pass I was talking about right there. I, the reason I'm so, I get so excited about this because, but anytime I play pickup and I try to tell my team, I try to explain to them, this right here is not a good pass. It looks like a good pass, but you got to know when to throw it. How much of those are you going to do a game? You do 100 of those a game? 75 of them is turnovers. Think about it. Based on crowding and spacing, it's just the way the game is. That's why teams elect to run five out, elect to run different sets. That's not the pick and roll, not the cooking is burping bag. Cooking a bag, y'all. Cooks is in a bag. Breakout look like they about to go into this half down eight. Let's see what that boy Dom could do. He got the ball. He bring it up. Clamp. That Kenny defense. Crazy. Under the basket cheese from Day Fry. Uh, you got lucky with that block. That's a good block, boy. You know, no time remaining. Cook, Jesus. So at the halftime, we got a breakout down by 10. Smith, the sensei. I don't know how he to play the game, but he to play the game. Play the half, you mean. Shout out my nigga Smith. You know, Tommy got 13, though. And uh, Kenny got 9. 6'10", Mark, I see you. I don't know how 24K drop-off got that donut skill. He had, like, four opportunities, but I guess he was mostly passing and doing his role. I mean, when you up 10, real talk, I could score negative five, and I'm happy. I'm up 10. I, 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 shit. I'm up 10 against breakout, too, at that. We about to get the 2-0 sweep on breakout? Come on, man. Stop looking, stop looking at box scores. Box scores don't tell the whole game. Box scores don't tell the whole game. They going to watch that film, man. So I'm worried about you dudes trying out for that combine because the box score not going to... Damn, my boy had a chance to get in the book. The box score not going to tell the whole game, though. Really not. Really not. That's a great shot by Y24. Great shot. Now, we got Cook bringing it up now. See what he does. See, Cook and Kenny, they interchange with that bringing the ball up. And that duo ball handler, that's exactly what Shots was trying to explain to Dom. It's needed. It is really needed. You know, 
know, uh, Smith the Sensei. Kick out, kick out. He got baited. I got baited too, watching that. That's cool. All right, that's a terrible possession control. But they crashing. Got my boy 6'10 walk down there, man. Oh, my. Now, that's that animation. That animation is money. See, they got to inbound the ball to dead eye. Then give it back to Dom. Look at the, 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 God, that's not even a word. I want to say deny, deniation. <laughs> Look at how they're denying Dom the ball. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. I've seen, uh, I don't know if you, how much you guys watch my channel, but Damaris, Damaris, he was uh, complaining about that the other day. He's like, every time a team denies, no, let me do his voice. This happens every time a team denied me the ball. We end up losing. That always happens, man. Listen, I got the same problem with my team. That's how I feel. You know, because I be trying to be the star. I don't really be, you know. But, uh, <laughs> you got to work around it. If that's an issue, you're really the issue. And I came to that realization myself. If that's an issue where a team is denying me the ball and... <laughs> We're struggling. That's an issue with you. You to help your teammates throughout the year get better. Your teammates not just trash for a reason. Y'all been playing since September. They trash because you decided to be the man all year and say, you know what? You're going to stay trash and I'm not going to help you. You know, that's just how I feel, though. Decent defense from Kenny. You know, Kenny putting in that work on Dom, though. Really is. They 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 said Dom was in a box this game. Like, shit. Huh. Huh. Think that's great. Let's go, man. Y two four snatch back. Okay. So move. Okay, you see this is this, this offense right here without that uh I mean I said without <laughs> this offense right here without Dom touching the ball is just it's bad. It's truly bad, you know. Um, truly bad. I don't know why I'm uh, Let's ignore that skip. Let's just ignore that. But uh, that offense is just bad. That's all I'm going to say. Come on, man. Pass it. Don't get baited. Uh huh. You see right there, watching film, I was going to get baited. I was passing back right back to that corner. But in game environment, it's totally different from watching the film. In game environment, I'm not passing that shit. That's a fake pass to the corner. Cause you in the mode, you in the zone. But right now, my mind not focused on 2K. I'm thinking on 10 other things. That's a great pass from Don. You know they've been missing their threes a lot. They missed a lot of open threes this game. It's a great pass from Don. But they're missing threes because of pressure. It's, it's not they're miss, just missing open threes. It's the pressure of it. You see the stat line, man. Day for I said. This is my team. This is not Don's team. He said, we can't get Don's the ball. I'm going to shoot 10 shots. He better go back to make it happen. My boy said, <laughs> my boy said, I'm going to take 10 shots. Don's body said, this is the last time you running with me. Nah, let me stop Don. <laughs> I can imagine that shit, though. Don's befuddled over. Look at that. It's so hard to get him the ball, man. Come on, Don. Show me something. Good pass, boy. Thank you. You got to hit that. Hit that. Let's go. We got Kenny bringing the ball up the court now. Slowing it down a little. You know, um, calling out his set, calling out his play. And, you know, he got the slip. He got the slip. That's a great basketball play. Calm slip. You think he's going to run five out the whole time? You know, just so happen to see me. Yeah. We got Cup with the ball now. Uh-huh. Triple threat. Main four for the charge. Oh, my God. See, on 2K, that's a, that's wide open. Wide open. Well, it's probably just open, but it's not lightly contested. I'm letting you know. Caught the boy ball watching. Five seconds remaining. He's like, oh, I'm going to go crash. No, that's not how it works, man. Stay on your man. Good dunk by Dom's there. Dom's up to 10 points. Four for six, four Dom's. Unlike Dom's. You know, I would have got, I, I was passing the ball there, but good take, Kenny. You know, you got to know your teammate's skill set and knowing that layup was a better 
a better option right now in the moment, especially when you up by three points. You know, Day Fry, he got to be more aggressive with this hot ring, though. You know, that's my issue. He, he just shot the air ball layup, but if he was aggressive with the hot ring, I, I'm sure he's on some type of stress bill where he was able he, you know, you got to be more aggressive. You had a walk-up shot already. I'm not coming at your game. I know you're you a great player and everything. I'm just saying you got to be more aggressive there, bro. You had a hot ring. The force into Tomley was not the move. I know that's probably not what you're trying to do, though. But it's not the move. Be more aggressive there, man. See, Dom's is open on that inbound, but they try to inbound the ball to anybody but Dom because Operation Deny Dom's the ball is going on. Shit, sure, that's what I might name this stream. Operation Deny Ball. Deny oh, shit. Sure, what's the wall? Operation deny dimes the ball. I might have to scratch that. I might, I might have to edit this. Mm -hmm. Triple threat move from Tommy in the corner coming. He loves the triple threat. Oh my god. He said, I'm not even going to do a triple threat. He said, I'm going to just jab, step, and go straight because they're expecting the spin. I see you, boy. 17 3 and 3. Big, big players. Look, oh my god. Big players come up in big games, man. That's what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing. Yo, them commentators on ESPN, they don't be drinking water and shit. Them color, them color, God, the color commentators, this shit difficult. And I'm not even commentating. I'm just talking a pack of shit. Good take by Kenny, man. GG. This game is over. It's over, man. I, I, I should end this. This game is over. Y'all don't need to hear me. Y'all close out the rest of this video. This shit. Sheesh. I might put some music on there. This is a little... Little jingles or something. This is terrible. Come on, man. Show me something, Dom. Let's try to get this shit down to 10. Come on. We got Wolf bringing up the ball. Big lock. Good take, boy. Thank you. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Inbound Cook bringing it up. No how he's taking his time. Taking his time. 6 10 mark. Kick out. Beautiful. Boy got baited. Easy three. Easy three. That's a green. Six, you come on, man. Pure shot for what? Show me son, 24. Maybe not pure though. I gotta reach out. Oh my god, yo, these trill is killing from the corners. Hope y'all taking notes. Like I said earlier, I don't know why y'all be watching my channel. Like, not why, I mean, what y'all be really watching it for. But if you're watching it to improve, this right here, take notes on how they, these boys is working the corner, take notes on the spacing. Take notes on the passes they're passing. When to pass. People always think, oh, I'm not getting my teammate involved. It's a video game. Try not to. They, they got to break out on clearance. This is ridiculous. Try not to pass the ball too early. That's the problem in most players that, or most teams that's trying to, you know, get better. I know what you think in real basketball. But remember, it's a video game. Making the right passes is better than just passing the ball to pass. Look to be aggressive. That's all I'm going to say. You know, with the score 56 to 39, breakout looks like they will be taking another L, unfortunately. We can uh, close the, the, the Raptors. Bring, uh, and, uh, we can bring it down early. Boy missing open threes. I, I just don't understand why so much open threes has missed this game. I really don't. I really don't. Big pass. Come on. Good move. There we go. There we go. There we go, Tommy. GG. Good game, man. Uh, I'm about done with this recording thing. Listen, man. The breakout versus on-site game. Breakout versus new lane game. Breakout versus face down wing. Uh, that's a really Anyway, check out the breakout versus New Lane and the breakout versus the on-site game. Those are two games after Dom's came back from Cleveland. Well, the face down game was for that, too. Two games we can't have Cleveland, but in both of these games, he had clutch moment opportunities. Now, this I, I'm looking into way more than his L's since coming back from Cleveland. I'm really looking into his fourth quarter or overtime play slash decision making right now. That's all I'm looking into right now. Yeah, he get he's been getting flooded a lot. Yeah, breakout may need to go back to the people like they say. 
Yeah, Xbox not sweet like they say, but I'm really looking into his four quarter decision making at the moment. That's all I'm really focusing on when I watch his films or anything like that. I don't really watch much breakout gameplay. I just really upload it for you guys. I like other teams mostly to watch. Breakouts already proven, you know. They're, you know, I guess they're cream of the crop or they were, whatever. But I really want you guys to check out the Breakout versus New Lane game and the Breakout versus Onsite game if you're watching Breakout games, you know. I will have more coming to the channel, a lot more. The commentator won't be like this, probably, you know. It will be better. Uh, just stick to it, man. Just let me know what you want to see. Keep the comments going if you want to comment. If you want to view anything, hit me up if you need any tips, advice, whatever, on 2K. You know, I, I'm, I watch a lot of games and shit, so I know. I put it like that. Y'all have a blessed, beautiful Monday or rest of the week, however you want to view it. Just know that the score is 70 to 48. I'm not going to talk for one more minute. It's a GG. I'm going to try to get my end screen up at the end. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at Adobe Photoshop. Did a layup. Uh, that I hope you can these two free throws. Shout out Trill and Breakout. Hopefully, these two games, well, it didn't end whatever they have, but uh, I guess they said they'll see again. They'll meet again. If you guys really want to watch another top point guard besides Dom, check out uh, Top Ranks or Flight Work. I'm not going to name the top guards, whatever, but. I really want you guys to see other players. That's really my focus of the channel. Really trying to help the 2K community grow, the com scene, everything like that. But um, later for real this time. Nothing, I'm running through packs quick. All who told me invest in a ratchet. They get hectic, they bet through they spazzes. You know, limit 150, they lack it.